All right, let's talk about the passage of time because when we're making adjusting journal entries, a lot of times what we're doing is we need to adjust our accounts to update them for the passage of time. So I'll put clocks on here to show that we're going to be talking about the passage of time. So the problem is going to ask you for your adjusting journal entry, but I like to make the first entry so that we can see why we even need an adjusting entry. So I'm going to make the first entry that would have happened. It would have been that June 1, Cole received $18,900 for the rent of land. So he received cash goes up for $18,900. And because that rent was going to last for 12 months, he has not yet earned it. So it's going to go into a liability call, account called unearned rent. And there it will sit until we're ready to update our accounts. So the next part is what the problem is going to ask you for, which is how much is the adjusting journal entry. So it says to journalize the adjusting entry on December the 31st. So here we have the passage of time. So it started June 1. So we need to include all of June. And then we need to include July, August, September, October, November. And because we're going to the end of December, we do include December. So that means that we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months worth of rent that we have now earned. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to say that you originally deferred $18,900, and then you're going to multiply that by seven months out of 12 to show that now you have earned $18,900 times 7 divided by 12 you've now learned, earned $11,025. All right, what do you do once you earn it? Well, we need to take it out of our liability because we earned that portion, and we need to put it into our rent revenue because that is the amount that we've earned. Now, I want to talk about passage of time just a little bit more. This problem could have said on June 30th we received the money. If that's the case, then we don't count June because June was already over. You would have started with July and counted. The other thing that it could have done is it could have asked for, for example, the adjusting entry on December 1. If that was the case, you wouldn't count December because you didn't use up December. So you have to look and see if it wants it at the beginning of the month, in which case you include that month, or the end of the month. So um, that is the passage of time. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.